The Nissan Z car has changed a lot since it was introduced almost 50 years ago. After six generations of Fairlady Zs, they've built up a cult following of enthusiasts. And after six generations, the one that gets pooped on the most has got to be the second gen, the Nissan S130, the Datsun 280ZX. You talk to a lot of Datsun purists and they hate that X. That X is what ruins Z cars. The ZX needs to be forgotten in history. I'm not a purist, and today I'm going to tell you why that is an awesome car. The 280ZX came out in 1979, and it was Nissan's answer to disco, cocaine, and big hair. So this car was significantly bigger than the first generation, partially due to aerodynamics, but mostly because they were competing with American muscle cars. It was comfier than its predecessor, and it had a softer suspension. It really was a GT car now. And even though it doesn't look like it, it legitimately is a comfortable car. I mean, I've got more room in here than I do in my 2010 Mustang. A lot of Nissan's loyal fans didn't like that. They wanted the small, nimble S30 they were used to. It was still definitely a Datsun Z, but it was cushier, more practical, filled with all sorts of new accessories and electronics. It retained the 2.8 liter inline six engine from the old 280Z. But by now, tightening emissions laws had the L28 covered in hoses and anti-smog equipment. While purists didn't like the beefy new Z, the public loved it and it sold very well. In its five years of production, the 280ZX offered more and more options, including a 2 plus 2 model, T-tops, and starting in 81, a turbo model. The ZX focused on luxury more than the Z had, and it did a very good job. Despite the lack of enthusiasm from the press, Nissan had effectively created the ultimate GT car. It had disc brakes, power steering, electric windows and mirrors. It was a car that could flatten out curves, yet it was still comfortable enough to take on a road trip. And I can tell you that honestly, I used to drive mine from Florida to Atlanta and back every month. The 280ZX had made some sacrifices to appeal to the public eye. And it was a smart move, because they sold very well. It was in that weird late 70s style of vehicle design, when cars were still round and curvy, but were beginning to get the boxy look and sharp corners of the 80s. I'll be the first to admit that the S130 is not the most photogenic car ever made. It was weird. It had traded some of the flow of the earlier Zs for a more muscular, sharp look. But it fit in so well with the times. It could rival a Trans Am or Corvette while still competing with the likes of RX-7s and Celicas. It was the perfect car. Keep in mind that all of these cars are terribly slow by today's standards. Nobody buys a Datsun to be fast unless they plan on heavily modifying it. In which case, and I know this will upset some folks, the ZX is a superior car. It's got a stronger chassis than the original Zs, with rear disc brakes and an optional turbocharger. The L28 is a fantastic engine, and if you're not going for crazy amounts of power, it's a great candidate for a project car. I've driven lots of Z cars from every generation, and I've loved just about every one I've driven, but if you're looking to build a fun Datsun, and you're not too worried about keeping it original, get a 280ZX. One of the best things about them is that they're worth practically nothing. I got mine for $600, fixed it up, modified it the way I like, and I get to enjoy my creation without worrying about having a numbers matching original. Yeah, the 240Z was one of the most beautiful cars ever made, and they hold a special place in my heart. I love driving S30s, and the feel of a classic 70s sporty import is hard to beat. But as far as what I'd rather drive every day, I'll always pick the 280ZX. It's comfortable, it's fun, it's the best car I've ever owned, and it really is awesome. I've had this car for half a decade now. It's got 211,000 miles, and really, it's become a big part of my life. You know, anytime I take it out, I hear stories from guys about how they had one when they were teenagers, how it was their favorite car back in the day. It's nostalgic, and it makes a lot of people happy. A lot of folks don't like the S130, and that's okay. It's an outstanding car, and I'm one Datsun owner that wouldn't trade my 280ZX for anything. 